it guys and welcome back to my channel today I've got a very fun unboxing <laughs> I've got two new pens and I've got a little superior labor goodie in here um, I also picked up a couple of fountain pen swatch tools which I'm super super excited about you probably can already tell what they are if you've already purchased from Kikimori before but I think what we'll do is um, we're gonna jump into the pens first because they are the most exciting so I'm just going to move those over to the side so I'm going to start with the pelican one here um, I when I saw this I was umming and ahhing for a while because the actual pen that I really wanted to get was the um, sailor version of this and Believe it or not, I have been able to get my hands on it a couple of weeks after I had purchased this. So this was already on its way, um, but I decided to still obviously keep this. Um, and it is the Pelican Cafe Cream um, Fountain Pen. Uh, so I'm very, very excited to see what this looks like. Oh, this is very gorgeous. Hang on, let's see if she says anything else. Okay, so wish you a lot of writing pleasure with your fine writing instrument. I really love the presentation and this little bag here is so freaking cute. That is beautiful. I really love that. Um, so it looks like there's just a user manual in this. Um, I'll go through that at another time. So let's just move this over to the side. So this this is the Cafe Creme um, fountain pen from Pelican. It is so beautiful, but now that I've had the chance to purchase the other pen that I want, <laughs> um, I have a feeling this is gonna take a back seat. <laughs> this is the M200 model and I got this in an extra fine. Um, I'm going to quickly go get a little dip pen. Um, sorry, not a dip pen. I'm going to go get some water and my swatch book and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so I've just got some water. I've got a little um, paper towel and I've got my little swatch book here. So I'm just going to, I want to do a little dip test of this and see how this writes. Um, so I did, I thought I wrote, yeah, there we go. So... I'm just gonna write underneath this Manu Nut uh, little ink sample here. Um, and I'm just gonna use the Manu ink, um, Shirakashi ink, because all of my Ferris wheel press bottles are a little bit too wobbly and I don't trust that I'm not gonna knock it over. <laughs> so I'm gonna just pull this off. Oh, tricks, maybe I won't. Oh, okay, all right. I'm just gonna pop that in here. Now I'm very excited to see how this writes. I'm not too sure how this works. Oh, okay, so hang on. Wait, oh, so the plunger's inside. How are you meant to clean that then? That is my main question. If this, <laughs> if the plunger's inside, how are you ever meant to Okay, I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of research. This is a brand new brand to me. Um, so definitely need to do some research on how to use this pen correctly. But all I'm gonna to do today is, I'll just show you a close up of that nib. So this is a stainless steel nib, um, gold plated, and it is a 2015 special edition pen. Um, and I think is very, very beautiful. I, like I said, I did get an extra fine. I don't know if you can see the EF there. But I'm going to do a little dip test now and see how it writes. All right. Oh, well, she's a bit scratchy, isn't she? Okay, it's very scratchy compared to the 
say the menu nut. I probably should have got like a fine. I feel like I'm actually ripping up the paper, which has got me a little bit concerned. That's how scratchy it is. It doesn't even feel like feedback. It feels like it's scratchiness. Um, let's just keep going. I think I need to write really lightly with this to avoid um, the scratchiness. See, that just feels like I'm actually ripping up my paper. It's got me a bit worried actually. It feels really nice in the hands though, but when I was doing these S's, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it's even ripping up the paper there. See how it drags? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to get used to writing with this pen because it definitely feels like it is like ripping up the paper. Maybe I just need to write a lot lighter. This is definitely gonna be an adjustment for me, writing so light. It's not too bad. It's just when I'm doing these S's, it feels like I'm ripping up the paper, but I guess I won't be doing that all the time. It's just when I'm doing cursive writing, that's what I'm worried about. I just feel like it's ripping up the paper. I'm unsure about this pen now, now that I'm actually giving it a try. I think I should have gotten a medium, a, either a fine or a medium in this pen. Um, I'm just I'm de definitely going to have to play around with this and test it out a little bit more. Um, but so that was the Pelican M200 Classic in the Cafe Creme um, in Extra Fine. So I'm just going to move this over to the side for now because I want to jump into the next pen because I'm so excited about that one. So I'll just pop this back in its box for now and then I'll get back to it later. All right, let's chuck that lid back on because I'm a hot mess. Let's move that over to the side so we're seeing the guys back out. Okay, so now we're on to the platinum. Sorry guys, it is the morning and I haven't really spoken much today so my voice is a little bit croaky. Um, I'm very excited about this pen because the moment I saw it, um, I fell in love with it and I'm just going to jump straight into it. Let me just move some things over to the side because it looks like it's all going to go falling. So this is the Platinum 3776 Century Celluloid in the colour Calico. And I got the fine nib in this. Um, I'll just have a quick look underneath. Oh, it's got, okay, cool. It's got its own little ink cart cartilage. Don't know what that is. Never seen that before. Um, 
I don't read Japanese, but <laughs> I'm assuming by this image here that the ball just stays in the actual cartilage and when you're riding it might like move it around and whatnot. Okay, and then it just explains how to fill it. So, and just the warranty card. All right, let me just chuck all of that back in. Yeah, so like I was saying, I completely fell in love with this pen when I saw it online. I just knew I had to add it to my collection and I've gone a little bit fountain pen crazy the past couple of weeks. I don't know if you can tell by all my videos, but this is such a beautiful, beautiful pen. I just love the colors. The colors, are, the colors are so my aesthetic. It is so beautiful. So the nib is actually um, the top of Fount Fuji and the breather hole is an upside down heart. And I think that is so, so beautiful. It has a 14K gold nib and in the cap it also has a slip and seal mechanism so the ink can last up to two years without it drying out. Um, it kind of like bounces out of it, um, whereas most fountain pens only last three to six months without them drying out. The colors are just absolutely insane as well. All right, I'm gonna do a little test right now as well. So we're going to pull my book back out. And then I'm gonna zoom you guys back in. Now I'm not too sure what colors I want to fill these pens with yet. So that's why I'm just dipping in the Shirakashi ink from Sailor. That is so smooth. That is so much smoother than the Pelican. This is a fine nib though, but this is such, oh, it's, it's so buttery smooth. Oh my gosh. See, there's no scratchiness on this. That is so much smoother. Oh, I love this pen. This is gonna be one of my top favorite pens, I think. That is so nice. Okay, I wanna ink this up already. Um, I'm just gonna rinse it off, because I never actually open, I don't know what the inside looks like, so let me just dry it off. So I wonder if I just have to use a, oh no, it's okay, so it's got its own converter here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, that's so funny. That is a beautiful converter. That is so freaking nice. I love that it's all gold and it matches. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to have a think about what ink I wanna fill this up with, but I am in love with this pen already. Like straight out of the box, love it. The Pelican I'm gonna have to get used to, I think, but this one is just stunning. This is something that my pops would have on his desk back in the old days, I think. The cigar shaped barrel. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay, I'm very happy with this. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave that out and I'm gonna quickly open the next couple of items. 
So I'm just going to pop that back in its box. And whilst you're zoomed in here, I'm going to open the Kikamori items. Now, as I said in one of my past videos, I did not have any tools to swatch nicely with. So I bought the Kikimori um, nib holder and then the gold brass nib. So I'm very, very excited to play around with these, <laughs> which is why I've left this ink out. Let me move all that to the side. Now, I'm just gonna assume I'm not left-handed. Why am I trying to do it with my left hand? That it. Oh, it even has a little logo on the side of the brass there. That's so cute. Um, all right, I'm gonna get my my swatch book back out. I want to do a swatch with this whilst it's here. So I'm gonna bring you. I'm so excited for this. Oh. Maybe I didn't put too much on there. Oh, <laughs> how much better is it having a swatch tool? That is so smooth. Oh, I love that. I love how many variations of thicknesses you can do with this. It holds so much ink as well. Right, looks like it is. It's just crazy like how it holds it in the ridges there. So it looks like I've used most of it. All right, I'm very happy about that as well. So I'm just rinsing that off. I'm going to, I'm assuming you just rinse it with water like you do with the fountain pens. I'm very happy with this. And that means I can do like the swatches properly with all my other inks. Actually, I might even do that at the end of this video. I might pull out all of my Ferris wheel inks and do some swatches in this. Now that I've got a tool and I can do that nicely, I think I might do that. But for the moment, I'm just gonna quickly move this over to the side again and open the last item that I got. All right, jumping straight into the Superior Labor box. This I've wanted so badly. And now that my fountain pen, um, collection is growing. I was, I'll show you what I was doing with my fountain pens before I got this. I've got this Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch and I have in here um, everything I take to bed because I like to journal in bed as well. I've got my Louis Vuitton pocket agenda which is where I write like all, all of my bedtime journaling stuff. I've got the cloth and paper envelope holding all my sticker stickers and whatnot. I've got a little sticker release here, um, holding stickers from my shop, a whole heap of other stickers as well. And I literally just throw everything in. Oh yeah. I also have this little Louis Vuitton card holder. And what I've done is, um, I've got credit card size sticker sheets in my shop and I've created them so they fit perfectly into credit card holders. Um, so when I saw this on eBay, I decided to purchase this and use this to hold all of my stickers for when I go to bed because I thought that was such a cool idea. Um, so I've made mini versions of all the stickers on my shop. I'm yet to upload the mini versions 
in my shop because I've this December has been so busy for me. It's usually dead, which meant in my mind, I would have more time for Aesthetic Paper Co. Um, but right now I am booked, I think literally up to Christmas day whilst trying to, you know, do Aesthetic Paper Co as well. Um, so these will come in the new year, all of the mini sticker sheets, but I love that I can use these mini sticker sheets in like my little mini journal. Um, because you know you can't really use huge sticker sheets in this so I love this I've also like got little cutout ones for when my silhouette machine was being you know annoying and not actually registering the registration marks so I've had to cut them out myself so I thought I'll put them in here but they kept falling out of this because this is so old um, they would just easily fall out so I'm just using a paper clip to kind of hold them and stop them from falling all over the place so that's what this little thing is um, and I keep that in here as well with all my other sticker sheets but as you can see all my tools are just floating around in here including my fountain pens don't cringe guys but yes I have been worried about them floating around in this so let me move this out of this out of the way now and I'm just gonna actually keep my fountain pens out because I don't want them to continuously getting scratched up. So this is where this comes in. So this is the Superior Labor pen pouch. And I got it in black. That's really cute. Little keychain, that's so nice. I just love, I, I've been losting over, um, their items for so long. I've actually got the Superior Labor A5 um, leather cover, which I love so much. So I decided to invest in this pen case. Um, I, I've seen some reviews where when they're filling both sides up, that they're worried about the pens, like, you know, rubbing against each other, but they're pr mostly protective like protected in this by what I've seen. So I'm gonna give it a little test ride. I've got all my fountain pens here off to the side. Um, so let's put all of my new pens in as well. Now and see how it looks. She, oh yeah, there we go. All right, so I've got four in. Like, I understand people worrying about them, like, clapping together, but surely, what are you doing with the case for them to be smashing against each other? So I'm just, I might even swap these two over. They're a little bit shorter. There we go. I understand what people mean, but if we just, I think it's been made for holding six pens. So surely, see that doesn't feel too bad to me, but I'm a newbie. So see, I, I, I think I'm gonna tuck two more in and see how that feels because it, it doesn't like, doesn't feel too bad to me that noise oh my god the noise of the leather rubbing <laughs> when I'm watching other YouTube videos it drives me insane so I'm gonna have to get used to that for my own sake because that's gonna happen all right so I've got three more pens here I'm gonna test out um, let's chuck the Twisby in to see how that fits I might not actually pin that because that clip is quite tight um, I'll leave the Lamy for now and we'll chuck my Kweko Hickory Brown in as well. It's all about, you know, jiggling them around a little bit. See, this one's quite tall. I probably have to put that one in there, but I don't want to overstuff that. I don't know if you can see that. See, I'm not too worried. Like, as long as they're not lined up to touch each other, it should be fine. I actually don't mind. Like, yes, it's a bit warped, but 
you know, it's leather and you've got pins in there. So I'm honestly, I'm not worried about this whatsoever. I'm more worried about them rattling around in my Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch. So <laughs> I think this is a lot safer for them. And I actually, I don't mind at all that they're touching inside because, you know, it's not like they can rattle around too much and scratch each other up when they're actually in there. Um, but I definitely think I'm going to have to play around with which goes where. So the big boys on the left, little ones on the right. Just shuffle them over a little bit. See, I'm really happy with that. That in my toiletry pouch is so much safer than them all rattling around, truly. See, that looks so much better now that they're nice and safe in there. And I don't have to worry about them like rubbing it up against the brass rule or anything. Yeah, I'm so happy with that. And then if I want to zip it up. That is so much more compact and safe for my pens than what they were doing prior, which was, you know, scruffing around at the bottom of this pencil case. So very, very satisfied with this pen. Superior labor pen case. Now I have to decide, I've got, guys, I've got so many ink pens inked up right now. And now that I've got these two new ones, do I ink them up? <laughs> do I have like 13 inked up? Is that a ridiculous amount? Yes, I write a lot, but I think that's a bit extreme, but I don't want to wait to use these two. I really want to get my head around this one because of how scratchy she is. Like, I really want to love this one. If worse comes to worse, I'll um, de-stash it, but I'm gonna have to sit down and play with this because I really, really want to be able to love this. Very scratchy, bit worried about the paper ripping up, but maybe if I learn to write a little bit softer. But I do love it, it is beautiful. I don't know if you can see on the lid. It's got like a little bit of mark on there. Surely it's not from this already. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, they look fine. Yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna have to play around with the Pelican and see how to write with it. I'll do some more research on it because this is my first Pelican. Um, so I'll play around with this and see if anyone else complains about the scratchiness on the nib or if it's just mine. Um, but I'm going to learn to love this. If not, I might de-stash it later on, but I do love it. Um, and it, the scratchiness isn't too bad. It's just when I was doing the S's, I felt like I was like ripping up the paper. But like I said, I am a newbie and I, I, I am starting to tell the difference from scratchy and feedback. My Sailor Manu Nuts has really beautiful feedback, but this definitely feels scratchy compared to the feedback from the manual nuts so definitely have more to learn but i do want to love this so i'm going to hold on to this for a while and just play with it and try and use it as much as possible and get used to it so um now whilst i have everything set up i think i'm going to do the ferris wheel ink swatches and i'll probably put that in another video. So um, I did half film another video where I got it, but I had no tools to be able to use um, to ink swatch the Ferris wheel inks properly. So I think I'm going to close this video up. Um, I love all of my products. Um, I love my fountain pen, love the Kikimori, um, love the Kikimori nib brass swatch tool and yeah love this case so that's all for this video guys um the ferris wheel swatches will i will put into my other video that's coming um anyway i hope you guys had a great day i hope you guys like this video um and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys